Okay, so we're going to start with opening Capture. Capture is the software that's going to open on the TDC 600, and then you're going to turn on the DA2, uh, DA2 uh, receiver. That's going to, while it's flashing, it, it isn't paired. Uh, it will pair with the um, with Capture. Uh, what we will do is we're going to just start. We're going to create a new scene. So every crime scene you get to we just at the bottom we hit new we're going to give the scene a name and we're going to call it in this case just test w for some reason you can choose your code library whether it's a crash csi reveal we can create different code libraries if you want um, but yeah, that's the, the standard it's going to prompt you to walk through your scene first um, It'll give you a reminder to create a sketch of your of your scene. It's going to choose the input method. We're going to be using GNSS. It's the configuration is the DA2 with that serial number. Um, just keep hitting next. It's now going to automatically connect to the catalyst. You'll see that once it's connected, that blue light will stop flashing, and it's now connected. It's now connecting to the Trimble Corrections Hub. That's where it's going to get its. It's actually going to get its accuracy from. That's that one satellite we spoke about. That's 45 degrees, sort of to the north. It's now just connecting to, to, to that correction source. And now it's set up. We put in. We ask for the the target height. So that's the height of the pole, which is a standard two meters from the bottom. Uh, to the what's called bottom of antenna mount so that default just leave it in with this two sec two meter two section carbon fiber pole um, now it's always going to it's going to ask you for your initial points that's going to be your starting point your origin you're going to have to measure three points on your site we recommend just so you know where your axes are i'd put in your x axis just as a standard 1000 and 2000 for your y position and your z as zero we then start at any a known feature on site, so something that you can come back to, so something that's not necessarily part of the scene, whether it's a manhole or some feature of the site that you can always always refer refer to, and we just hit this measure button. Um, currently, it says the quality is bad. If you're wanting to see what that quality is, just hit that um, this the, that button. And you can see what your horizontal and vertical precisions uh, precisions are. For this, we're just going to say accept it anyway. It's going to it's told us what each time it'll tell you what your horizontal and vertical precisions are for that shot. If you're happy with it, uh, just say store anyway. They'll improve over time the, the positions. We can then we have to then go to what's called the initial point so point one and point two again these will just be another two features so if ever anybody queries the accuracy of the data the validity of the of how the da2 works or this gps position they can come back and actually do physical measurements between these two points so we'll just go measure another two random points whether it's be a, a manhole or something else on site and it's going to be called GNSS control point one hit that measure button and current accuracy is about half a meter but I'm just going to store it anyway for now we're not going to wait for it to get better for this video but then we go to our third point wherever that is whatever feature that may be and you've got the option to add attachments, add photos, attach a photo if I want. So you take a photograph of the um, feature that you that you're wanting to that you can. Um, so you've got a record of it when it comes back into into capture. So we measure our, our second control point. Just gonna say it's okay. We'll store it anyway. Now after that which is essentially our third point we can then just continue on and now it just gives you some reminders to document the short-lived evidence first before the long uh, long-term evidence and that's the setup complete so now we 
finished, the device is ready to go, and we can start with our uh, scene capture. So I'm going to open the scene on the on the controller. It's just lost the connection to that um, corrections hub. There we go. Just hit fix. And now you've got your option. We're on single shot. That's what we. Um, that's just a, a, a quick measurement. Here you can change your code. So let's change it to um, debris, for example. Uh, and when you want to measure it, just hit hit that button. Lost that connection again, but there we go. It stored stored that point, uh, that debris. Yeah, off you go. You can change to change to line features multiple with its line one, line two. So you can change your um, you know, between between points and lines. to the next one you know, 0.6 as you can see now we're on a line it started to connect the dots and we're starting to draw draw our scene And if we want to, we just say plus and it'll create, start a new line at our new point. Measure. Yeah, so. We've now started a, a di different line turn off line and now we're just measuring single points change up whatever codes we want again change it to driveway fence ground control sidewalk vehicle victim weapon change it to a single point weapon measure the point and we just start to capture that way. And that's it. Okay, just got a point list. Yeah, and we can see here, we can view our point list. There's all the points that we've measured so far, the codes that we've um, codes that we assigned to each of those points. So and there's also there's your check type check by type measure thing if you wanted to do that.